or I just wanted to show something really cool that I found scraping this county website. So we are searching for something here. So we're going to go ahead and search and this brings back the data here in the payload, not the payload, the response. So yeah, this has all of the information that we want. So naturally I come over here and copy as node fetch and just use that. So I'll fetch search results. So if we paste that here, then there are some cookies that we need, which like no problem. But then also in the body of the post request, there's this request verification token. And this is an ASP.NET application. So they store their like session ID. So we need the cookies, but like no problem. But then also getting this request verification token. So it works for this request. Like if we made this one, this would work. But subsequent requests, um, I don't know if they work. And also this will just time out anyway, either the cookie or this this request here. And I actually don't think it will because, so this request verification token is actually being sent. Uh, let me go back, uh, back. It is being sent from the form. So if we search for request verification token, then there's this hidden input on the form. So this is the form that we're looking for. And ASP.NET, yeah, I guess it just depends on who your developers are, but ASP.NET will, if they include this, will, yeah, you need this token right here. So all you have to do, and, and you do have to navigate this, you have to navigate to this website. So you have to go here and then click on, yeah, normally there's another step where you have to click on advanced, but since my session hasn't expired yet, then then I'm good. But anyway, we need to grab this request verification token that is in that form. And how we do that is we can just do that with Puppeteer. So we go to this page and then we have to like get into the advanced search. So we just have to click a couple buttons. And then all we do is we get that request verification token by yeah, doing document query selector. So we can even just do that in JavaScript here. Yeah, and we get the value of do dot value to get the actual value, right? So then on each request, we just get that. And then also I'm getting the cookies because we also, yeah, need those cookies as well. And then it'll work every single time. So if we do, yeah, let's just try this one. And yeah, because of some weird rendering and it takes like, I have to wait 10 seconds to click again. Okay, advanced search. And then we have the token and then boom. So then if we change this to another search term, got the token, boom, love it. And it just like, I am using Puppeteer but the less that I have to use it, the better, because yeah, just so many things can break with it. So I'd much rather use their API to get the information because it's just much more consistent, less bugs. So anyway, that's it.